Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up SonarCube on Ubuntu 18.04. So what is SonarCube? So SonarCube is, you know, one of the popular static code analysis tool. It is used for, uh, you know, scanning your source code and uh, finding uh, any code quality issues, uh, any non-compliant issues and whatnot, okay? So it supports pretty much uh, all the technology stack uh, from Java, .NET, uh, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and whatnot. Okay, awesome. So this is my website, CoachDevops.com. I have already documented the installation steps. I will also post this link right below my video as well. So why don't we quickly do a rundown? Um, as you can see, we are going to set it, set it up on Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, we need to open up port number 9000 because that is the default port for SonarCube. Uh, we have to open this uh, port in the firewall rule. Um, it is good to have at least 2 GB RAM. We are going to start uh, setting up Java because SonarCube is the open source and that is a Java based tool. So we must uh, you know set up Java. And uh, we have to set up Postgres as well. Uh, the reason why we have to set up a Postgres if you look at this diagram, uh, SonarCube has two component. Okay, one is the UI component, which is the scanner, and then it also has the database component. Okay, your database can be anything, right? You can uh, have Oracle, MS SQL, or PostgreSQL. MySQL is not supported uh, from the latest version onwards, uh, but you know we are going to use PostgreSQL because it is a open source. Okay, so that's why you know we are setting it up, uh, you know, Postgres uh, over here. Once you set up Postgres, uh, we are going to log in into uh, Postgres and then uh, set up a username and password. Okay, and then we are going to create a schema called SonarCube schema. Uh, once we do all this thing, um, we are going to install SonarCube web app. Okay, so this is the version we are going to install, uh, 7.7. .7, okay, which we can download uh, from their website. Uh, once we uh, download the zip file and then extract it, uh, we are going to create a group called Sonar and then add a add that user to that group, and then you know we are going to give permission to that folder, okay? And then we are going to open up the Sonar.property file, set up our username and password which we did in Postgres, uh, and then we are going to point to uh, Postgres SQL database, okay? That's our JDBC. Uh, driver URL okay and then in this particular file we are going to run SonarCube as a user okay because this version uh, you cannot uh, run SonarCube uh, from a root user okay so you must uh, uh, set up to run uh, you know as a Sonar user okay so we have to make this change and then this particular step talks about uh, creating a SonarCube as a service so that you know whenever you restart the service is automatically started as well so that's it right so this is what you know we are going to do that okay so let's get started uh, we are going to set up a new ubuntu ec2 instance i'm going to create a new ubuntu ec2 instance which is 18.04 select we are going to go with t2.small next leave it as it is here set up as sonar cube then next, we need to open up port 9000 because sorry over here because that is the default port for Sonar Cube. Review, launch, and then launch. I'm gonna you know use my existing key. Okay, it is up and running. Let's connect to this EC2 instance. Perfect. So our instance is connected. We are going to start with the Java installation, like I mentioned. So I'm going to do these two together: sudo apt get update and then installing Java. Okay, you can verify Java installation by typing Java version. So we are actually good. Okay. So we are going to move on to Postgres. So just copy this instruction. Uh, we need to. Uh, execute this right by downloading the keys and whatnot okay and then this is for installing 
Postgres. Okay, so Postgres has been installed. Uh, you know, you can actually see here it has been installed. You can start the Postgres by executing this command and then we are going to enable this so that it can be started every time you restart. Okay, so now we are good with the Postgres setup. Uh, we are going to log in as a Postgres user because whenever you install Postgres, it automatically creates a user. So I'm switching from Ubuntu into Postgres user. This is where I'm going to create a user called sonar okay now the user has been created and then we are going to log in inside the postgres by typing pc equal see here now i am inside my postgres uh, database so what we are going to do we are going to set up a password for this user right so this is the command so i'm setting up a password as a password so if you want to set up a complex password you can do that you can change it here okay all right so we did set up and then we are going to create a database called uh, sonar cube right we are going to create a da database called sonar cube and then i'm assigning the sonar user which we just created here okay that's it right so that's all we have to do on the postgres uh, sql database and then i'm going to exit by you know saying backward slash q this is gonna you know take me out of here and then i'm going to exit again to go back to a Ubuntu user okay so that is on the Postgres side now we need to download the sonar cube uh, front end which is like a web app remember we talked about two component right one is a you know backend component which is done and this is a UI component okay so we are going to download uh, you know sonar cube 7.7 version from here from their website so enter this okay it has been downloaded as you can see here uh, and then I'm going to we need to install uh, unzip utility because we are going to extract the zip file so we need to have that and then I'm going to extract I'm going to extract directly you know into the opt folder it has been extracted if I go to opt folder there we go see this is the directory right it, it has been created after it extracted so now it is a good practice to change the uh, folder name okay you don't have to but you know i just wanted to change it right so we renamed from you know 7.7 .7 into sonar cube okay that's it right and then um, so now we are going to continue because uh, we have to uh, start sonar cube as a sonar user right so we have to create a group called sonar okay and then i'm going to assign that user to that uh, group okay and then we need to give permission for that folder right if you look here sorry if you see here this is the folder right right now you know only root user has a permission so we are we have to change it okay so how to change it we have to execute uh, this command okay now if you go back and type this here it changed from root user to sonar user right so we are actually good with that and then we have to make changes in the sonar.property file because this is like a sonar cube configuration file so you have to open this file if you remember we have a setup user as sonar password as a password so you have to uncheck or uncomment these two lines and then you have to add those entries for enabling a postgres uh, or connecting to Postgres database, you need to copy this line, right? Either you can copy this line or, you know, you can uh, uncomment the previous line and then, you know, remove after write this, right? But, but we are okay with this, right? So you have to do that. Okay. So only three changes, right? We have enabled the username, enabled the password, and then we have uh, made an entry to connect to the Postgres uh, SQL, which is actually running in our local machine. If it is, uh, you know, if your Postgres is running in a different machine, uh, you can provide uh, that particular DNS name or IP address over here instead of localhost. Okay, so that's it, right? And then one more thing: if you want to change the port number, 
you see here there is something called default value right so by default if you don't give anything it means that this is running on port number 9000 and I want to leave it like that okay if you want to change it you have to uncomment this and then, and then you know uh, change into whatever the desired port number you want but make sure you know you are also uh, opening that particular port number in the firewall rule as well okay so that's it on this file let's come out of it so this as well we have to do um, uh, so yes we have to edit this file because um, since we are going to run as a sonar user right so scroll down in that file once you open it and scroll all the way down and then over here you have to uncomment this and then add sonar over here right and that's it so come out of that file okay and then this is our uh, pretty much last change because uh, you know we want to set up sonar cube to run as a service okay so how do you do that we have to create the service file okay and then i want to basically make these entries so once you make this entry you know then you know you, this will be started every time your machine got uh, you know shut down or anything like that right so this will be automatically st started okay so this is the startup script path and this is a stop script path okay that's it right so come out of it so we are good with that and finally you can start your sonar service and then you can enable it so that you know this is going to be started as a service and then you can quickly check the status of that so it says that active running so so we are good with that if you don't see active running or if you see anything error you have to go back and review what you have done wrong okay all right so press q to come out of it so everything is looking good and then you know you can also check the logs just to make sure that you are able to see you know the desired output right so so far so good it says that process is up if you look at my screenshot so we must see this message right say it should say that sonar cube is up it usually takes uh, you know probably a minute or two wow awesome you see here it says that sonar cube is up and running so i'm going to press ctrl c to come out of that now you know we can uh, go and access our sonar cube in the browser okay so let's go to uh, here and then copy the public DNS name of the sonar cube and go to the browser and then I'm going to say port number 9000 which is a default port number wow look at that so now our sonar cube UI is coming up right and you can definitely log in with the default username and password which is admin admin Okay, all lowercase and click on admin wow you see here this is our sonar cube ui guys right so that's how guys that's how you can set up sonar cube on ubuntu 18.04 thank you for watching folks